Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm back again today with a book recommendation, this time uh, Kukai Major Works by Professor Hakeda at uh, Columbia University. The text was uh, published in 1972. Um, one of the good things about this text, um, as I've mentioned in the past, there are not a tremendous number of books in English about Chingon, but this is one that has remained in print, I think, due to the uh, good content um, is a really good overview of Kukai's life. Um, the first 60 pages or so give a, a very good overview, kind of a historical view of his life from his birth um, through going to university, um, the sort of the crisis he had in university about his interest in Buddhism, ultimately leaving the university, um, becoming a monk, and then his developing interest in the Mahavarachana Sutra and what led him to go to China um, to retrieve those teachings, come back, and eventually establish uh, the monastery at Khoyasan. So this uh, text provides that sort of overview. One of the other wonderful things about this book is it does provide some translations of his works. So there are excerpts from some of the more famous works um, by Kukai. Um, so the, the book is probably about uh, 200, uh, yeah, just, just under 300 pages. It does provide uh, a good overview of those things. It gives you a, a flavor of his writing, what he was trying to express. Um, some of the topics definitely, if you're not familiar with um, basics of Buddhism, some of the references uh, and topics will not be as useful, but if you do have a uh, pretty good working knowledge of some of the representative texts uh, in Buddhism, some of the major sutras, uh, then this will hopefully uh, provide some insight into what Shingon is teaching. So one of the things I like about this uh, text is it also attempts to humanize, so it does give some historical background on the text and their writing. Uh, so that's, that is very useful. Uh, it it um, presents some of his uh, writings, letters, poetry to people. And um, I'll just read you the last uh, four or five lines here from a letter that's translated here. This is from page 52. Um, I have never tired of watching the pine trees and the rocks at Mount Koya. The limpid stream of the mountain is the source of my inexhaustible joy. Discard pride and earthly gains. Do not be scorched in the burning house, the triple world. Discipline in the woods alone lets us enter the eternal realm. So in the letter, um, maybe some of you caught it, there's a reference there to the parable of the burning house in the Lotus Sutra. So you can see even in his writings to people, letters, there's always that attempt to share the Buddhist teaching with people. Um, so I, I found that particularly um, inspiring. Um, so Kukai, Major Works, translated with an account of his life and study of his thought by uh, Professor Hakeda. So that's that copy. Um, my copy came from, I was lucky enough to find a, a hard copy version. So it's stamped here, Moraine Valley Community College Library uh, in, in Illinois. So unfortunately they lost a treasure, but I found a, a used copy online, so I was able to find the hard copy. The rest of the book provides some excerpts from Kukai's major writings, so some of the representative writings. Um, so throughout his life, in addition to teaching and founding the monastery, uh, working for the benefit of people in Japan, he also did a tremendous amount of writing um, to introduce Shingon to uh, the Japanese audience. So there's the indication of the goals of the three teachings, one of his early writings, so there's, that's translated in here. Um, the memorial presenting a list of newly imported sutras and other items. So when Kukai returned from China, it was traditional to uh, send to the emperor to court a letter saying, this is what I've done, these are the books and the items that I brought back, um, and then provide that information and those materials to the emperor for inspection. So is um, introducing a new school of Buddhism, this is one of the ways that he did that, and so you get an idea of the just massive amount of, of uh, reading material that he brought back, uh, new Buddhist sutras that had not yet been introduced to Japan. So uh, just the, if reading that list you get an indication of how important his journey was to the development of Buddhism in Japan. Um, the Precious Key to the Secret Treasury, uh, the Secret Key to the Heart Sutra, so there's, there's many uh, very interesting text in here, so I may give you a, a taste or flavor for uh, a little bit more about Shingon. Uh, one of the things that I, I would say, uh, just a caution, that if you don't have a tremendous familiarity with Buddhist theory, philosophy, and kind of background information, um, some of the 
information in here may not be as useful. So Xinglong does assume that the reader, um, that the practitioner, has a good grounding in uh, both the basics of Buddhist philosophy and some of the major Mahayana Buddhist texts. So um, what we do here at the temple, we do provide sutra study, we do provide uh, Dharma uh, study classes, and we're trying to provide a, a full breadth of, of that study. So just jumping into Shingon texts alone um, aren't as helpful. So what we're doing, and I often tell people this, it's a great experiment here. Um, going back and starting with some of the major uh, Mahayana Buddha Sutras and attempting to study those, um, take questions from people, and it's always um, the questions from students that help refine the classes and make them better. So that process started probably about 2010 um, and it's been developing ever since and sort of fine-tuning. So the things that I find interesting uh, within Buddhism aren't always the things that other people find interesting. So we work together and we try to you know, fine tune and, and make those classes better. So um, major works of, works of Kukai, um, probably on the shelf of every um, English language um, learner uh, about Chingon Buddhism. Um, it's also a good reference work to kind of go back, I think no matter what your level, just to um, you know, look at some, some reference works information I, I can't think of a um, another book or article uh, in English on uh, Shingon that doesn't reference uh, Professor Hakeda's work in some way. So it is uh, very useful. Again, um, you can find new or used copies still, so that's very useful. Um, so that's our, our book recommendation for today. Hopefully we'll be back in the future with additional videos and discuss different pieces uh, of Hukai's thought from this and other works, but for now, um, thank you again for joining us. Uh, if you haven't already, please like uh, the video and subscribe to our channel and we'll try to bring you more content in the future. Thank you.